Egyptians. It's the Egyptians. Oh, wait, make it into a question. Who are the Egyptians? <laughs> Persians? <laughs> well, the Egyptians are the answer to some question. I know that. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm going to the hardware store, or as I like to call it, men are us. <laughs> Is there any place you won't go to pick up a man? Yeah, the museum. <laughs> you want to come with me? Look, I don't think I'm comfortable with the idea about going someplace and getting picked up. I think if I stay home and bide my time, that eventually Mel Gibson will run out of gas out front, and I'll take him in and never let him go. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Moron. Moron who? Moron who says knock knock when he comes in a room. Well, well, well. Look at you, Laurieann. It's a nice dress. Does it come with a volume knob? For your information, Brock, I am taking your ex wife out to meet a better class of man. Where are you going? Anywhere, really. Why don't you two get a room? Besides, I told you I'm not going. You know what, Reba? I think it's a good idea. What? Yeah. It's been long enough, Reba. Maybe it is time you started dating. Wait, you two agree that I should go out dating? Yes, we do. Absolutely. Wow. Well, if the two of you agree on something, then maybe I should do it. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll meet somebody in that new ice rink down in hell. <laughs> your car? No, it isn't. Are you sure you know how to do this trick? Uh-huh. Is this your card? Reba, you're not ready. <laughs> it's not fair. Why can't you stay home and babysit Jake? I mean, you're married with a kid. I still have a life. Carol, what is the big deal? I used to babysit you. Yeah, right. You used to stick me in my room so you could sit on the couch and make out with your boyfriend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is this your car? Yes, it is. You finally got it right. You don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> to anyone. Where are you going, honey? To get my magic hat. Lord, Ribbo, we gotta move. He's getting his magic hat. <laughs> No, Lori Ann, I feel a little weird about tonight. Don't get me wrong, I do want to meet somebody. But what if I go out there and try really hard and wind up with a bunch of no thank yous? Oh, honey, they don't say thank you. <laughs> okay, Kira, I told you everything, right? Yeah, you told me I have to give up a night with my friends so you can go bar hopping with yours. <laughs> yeah, but do you know the numbers of the bars we're going to be hopping at? <laughs> Mom, don't worry about her. She's gonna do a good job. I know. But didn't I wouldn't have put her in charge. At least she won't be making out on the couch with her boyfriend all night. <laughs> Mom, he was not my boyfriend. <laughs> all right. It's time for Reba and Lori Ann to ride again. Like we used to say, the night is young. Well, at least the night is still young. <laughs> Who's there? Moron. Moron who? <laughs> Never mind. What you need, Barb Jean? Well, I heard someone was going out hoping to meet other someones, and I thought, I've got to lend Reba my lucky bracelet. <laughs> well, thank you, Barb Jean. That's very thoughtful. Yeah, it's the one I was wearing when I met Brock. <laughs> you know, I'm curious. Who do you think you're saying these things to? Well, I also figured that I could give you a few tips. Now, as you know, before I settled down, I had a bit of a wild streak, and uh, I thought that you could benefit from the results of my sinful research. No, no offense, honey, but she's going with me, and I'm still researching. Okay, then. I guess you know Richie's is now a gay bar. And Hatter's has gone very young. Sherman's has a wonderful selection of lawyers, but the music's too loud, so you're better off at Hannigan's. But leave after happy hour, because that's when the used car salesmen show up. 
Have fun, ladies. <laughs> you know, I am surprised I've never bumped into her before. <laughs> Isn't she the cutest? She's my first grandchild. Oh, and here's the rest of my family. That's a house full, huh? <laughs> yeah, you would think I'd be lonely. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Oh, that's all right. And then here's the... Okay, honey, that's the third time. I don't think it's them. Look, Reba, your children are only cute to you. You have to talk about something interesting. Well, I guess I can talk about my work. Oh, you know, the other day I got two appointments mixed up and the wrong Mr. Smith came in for teeth cleaning. <laughs> that was a hoot. <laughs> okay, forget about interesting. You need to lie. I can't do that. Sure you can. I tell men I'm a Romanian gymnast. <laughs> men love a flexible woman who can't speak English. Look, if a man can't accept the fact that I'm a hard-working woman raising three kids and a grandchild and trying to blend two mortgages into one low monthly payment, then... Oh, my God, I am boring. <laughs> Hello. Shine, is everything okay? Fix my hair? Why, what's wrong with my... Wait a minute, how can you see my hair? Oh, my gosh. What are you guys doing here? I'm sorry, Mom. I just had to come down here and make sure you were doing okay. Oh, your mom is okay. She's wearing that new perfume ode oh, to get the hell away from me. Really? I can't believe guys aren't asking you out. You both look very nice. Well, thank you. Get away from him. <laughs> we're doing just fine. Don't worry about me. I'm going home. Good. This place is smoky and sleazy. It smells like baby poop. <laughs> Oh, boy. Look, Mom, there's something on campus that might be a better way for you to meet men than in a smoke-filled bar. I'm not going to a frat party. Which fraternity? It's not a frat party. Is it AA? Because they smoke there, too. No, it's called insta-dating. You meet a bunch of men for a couple of minutes, and, and then if you don't like each other, you move on. It's, it's like trial-size dating. Like a little tray of man samples. I love it. Good afternoon and welcome to Insta Dating. Did everyone fill out their date cards? Today you're each going to meet 10 or 12 different people and one of them could be that special someone. Now remember, you don't have much time, so get right to the essence of who you are. Except for you. Get to the essence of someone interesting. <laughs> Well, that's enough about me. What about you? Switch! <laughs> nice to meet you, first guy. <laughs> Hi, my name's Reba. <clears throat> Maybe you should go first. Relax. I've done this before. My name is Fred from Atlanta. Parents work in a factory. Happy childhood. Me, I sell cars. Throw it as one child, previous marriage, impossible woman. Not about me. Tell me about yourself. Go! <laughs> okay, all right. Me, uh, from Texas, uh, ex-husband, uh, dumped, cheating bimbo, and, uh, well, I'm single, uh, I guess you already know that. <laughs> uh, red hair, uh, you know that too. Oh, my gosh. Look, why don't I just tell you what I think's important in a relationship? Switch! <clears throat> Thank you, Thank you Hi, I'm Hank. I like to make people laugh. <laughs> That's nice, I'm Reba. That's nice, I'm Reba. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, are you just gonna repeat everything I say? Wait, are you just gonna repeat everything I say? That's not funny. Yes, it is. Hey, you missed one. Hey, you missed one. I like men. I like men. Switch. Switch. I'm Hank. I like to make people laugh. Hi there. I swear, if you're gonna sit there and repeat everything I say, I'm gonna slug you. <laughs> Got it. Thanks for the warning. Oh, I'm sorry. I've never done this before. Uh, glad to hear it. I think if you're experienced at this, not a good thing. Amen. 
So, why are you here? Friend dragged me, said I don't get out enough. <laughs> I got a friend like that. She's from Romania. <laughs> Hi, I'm Reba. Reba, I'm Brian. Um, so, here's my essence. <laughs> uh, I live in Katy. I got two dogs, no kids. I make documentary films for a living, and no, you ain't never heard of none of them. Wow. A filmmaker, huh? That's exciting. Well, uh, I live here in Houston. Uh, no dogs, three kids. <laughs> and I... Uh, I write children's books, and no, you had never heard of any of them. <laughs> You've got a beautiful smile. Oh, thanks. This is nice. Switch! Well, wait a minute. We just got started. Excuse me. I I'm next. Hold your horses. They're not switching. Would you like to go out sometime? Really? I'd love to. Switch! Everyone switch! <laughs> I'm not switching. I'm done. Stop it! I said stop it! Stop it! I said stop it! <laughs> I told such a stupid lie. Why did I tell him I was a writer? I should have told him I was a spy. <laughs> well, there'd be no way for him to check that out. Relax, Mom. You're not going to talk about your career tonight. Oh. Not if you want the date to go well. <laughs> oh, and don't talk about your kids. He'll either think you want more or be bummed that you got him. Okay. I'm barren and childish. Mm -hmm. Got it. <laughs> oh, and laugh at his jokes. Men love that. What if they're not funny? They won't be. But laugh anyway. <laughs> Sometimes the truth hurts. Jake, we'll take your bath. I'll deal with her. Gary, are you gonna torture him all night? No. I'll probably get tired and take a short break. <laughs> You're not gonna ruin this for me, young lady. And let me remind you, someday Jake's gonna be bigger than you are. I wouldn't count on it. I let him smoke when you're gone. <laughs> she really lights up a room, doesn't she? She's having a hard time right now. I mean, things are finally settled down around here, and then your mom starts dating. That's a tough adjustment for a kid. Plus, you just became a famous writer like two days ago. All right. All ready for bowling, Cheyenne? Now remember, Mrs. H, dating is easy. Just relax, have a nice conversation. Oh, and if the guy gets happy hands, stick a key in his windpipe. <laughs> Don't make her more nervous than she already is. <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> I mean, what's it been, 20 years since my last date? Whoa, that's longer than I've been alive. <laughs> Look, Mom, this date is going to be great, and if it isn't, I'm going to give you an easy out. Halfway through the date, I will give you a call, and I will give you a phony excuse to leave. If the date's going great, then just hang up on me. It's foolproof. Cheyenne, that's an awful thing to do. Do not call me. Hey, it works. I remember one time I had a buddy call and tell me my dog ate a spark plug. <laughs> Van, you were with me when that happened. What? <laughs> no, no. See, you're thinking of the time we need to go. Come on. <laughs> So listen, I hope I'm not bugging you with all these questions. It's just that I find it fascinating that you, uh, that you write children's books. <laughs> you sure do. So, um, what are you working on now? Now? Oh, well, um, it's a book about a, a duck. A small duck. Uh, and the book's called, um, the small duck. <laughs> and uh, what's the uh, duck's name? Ducky. <laughs> no, I love that. Uh, and, and so uh, what uh, happens? Oh, well, um, I'm just kind of in the beginning stages right now, but uh, the story's about this um, small duck who gets caught in a uh, big rain. <laughs> and... Uh, what he learns about all that kind of stuff, you know. <laughs> Good salad, huh? Yeah, it is. I like the crunchy things. Aren't we these pine nuts? 
Oh, well, that sounded like a joke. You know, what are these, pine nuts? <laughs> Wait, am I, uh, am I, uh, <clears throat> making you uncomfortable? No, no, I just don't like to talk about myself that much. So why don't we talk about something else? So, oh, excuse me, just a second. Cheyenne, I told you not to... Kira, is everything okay? Sorry, just a moment. I told you to only call me in an emergency. Well, that's not an emergency. Well, okay, just write sprinkles on the grocery list, okay? Fine. <laughs> Sorry, no crisis at home. No, 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 sure. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the call, and I guess you're going to be going. What? Reba, look, I'm sorry that I was bugging you with all those questions about your writing. It's just I am so incredibly nervous. No, no, you're not bugging me. Reba, please. I was getting on my own nerves. <laughs> you know, there's only so many duck questions. Oh, I think it's very wonderful that you're so interested in what I do. <laughs> I just wish I did it. What? I lied. I don't write children's books. Maybe you should do a documentary on people who lie to impress other people. Yeah, well, about that. <laughs> uh, I don't exactly make uh, documentaries. Oh, no, 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 I make them. It's just nobody buys them. So to pay the bills, I do those cheesy late night commercials. Oh, you mean like Wild Bill's Auto Roundup? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for knowing my work. <laughs> Okay, why don't we start fresh? I work at a dental office. I have three children and a grandchild. Well, then you gotta have pictures. Oh, you bet I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is Elizabeth. Oh. She's nine months old. And her scalp beautiful. <laughs> Mom doesn't let you watch late night TV. And are you eating cookies on the couch? My double stuffs. <laughs> Did you finish the entire bag? <laughs> what? He said Kira called mom on her date. What are you, deaf? <laughs> Come on, you, bedtime. My stomach hurts. Well, deal with it, cookie pig. <laughs> Why did you call mom on her date? I was bored. Look, Kira, I, I know what's been going on. You know, things started to settle down around here, and, and then mom starts to date. That's a big adjustment on a kid. I just want you to know that it is okay to hurt. <laughs> Thanks for that insight, oh great wise teen mother. <laughs> then what is it? This can't just be about the stupid babysitting thing. Yes, it is. I don't think I should have to waste my life so she can go on her dates. That is so selfish, Kira. I mean, Mom does a ton of stuff for us. And what, she wants to go out once every 20 years? <laughs> don't you think she deserves to be happy? No. What? I don't want her to be happy, OK? Divorced people aren't supposed to be happy. What are you talking about? They promised to be together forever. They couldn't manage to do that, so they should have to live with their mistakes. So what about Dad, Kira? Uh, you you want to punish Dad, too? Barbara Jean is taking care of that. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I think Mom is being punished. The divorce, she had to find a job. Van and I are living here with the baby. I mean, would you want her life? Hey, Kira. You OK? I hadn't heard from you in the last half hour. <laughs> I'm starting to worry. I'm sorry I called you so much tonight, Mom. You are? Why? <laughs> I just am. I guess I was selfish. Well, you should be sorry. I am. Good. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. Oh, OK, OK. I said I'm sorry. Let's not get all after school special about it. <laughs> Wow, an apology. I must be getting good at this mother and daughter talk stuff. I think that was a record. 
Yep, you're fantastic. Yep. So, tell me about your date. Oh, it went well, eventually. Mm -hmm. He asked me out to dinner next weekend. You know, if you keep your lies straight, this might go on for a while. That's okay, Shane. I told him the truth. That's one great thing about dating as an adult. No games. Right. So did he kiss you? <laughs> Nobody held my hand all the way to the car. <laughs> You loved her? Absolutely, girl of my dreams. Wilma Flintstone? <laughs> I used like a girl in a tiger skin dress. Yes, I do. <laughs> Plus, I got a thing for them redheads. I don't know that I mentioned this or not, but I have red hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's your cartoon crush? Well, that's easy. Ever since I was a little girl, I always hoped for the day that I might be Mrs. Jughead. <laughs> And I'm not saying that just because you remind me of him. <laughs> Look, I'd invite you in, but, you know, like I told you, it's a nut house in there. Heck, I'm only going in because I have to. <laughs> gotcha. I will call you tomorrow, and why don't we do that car show on Saturday? Okay. Brian, I, I really would invite you in, uh... But it's my kids. They'd be all over you. A lot of questions. Yeah, and, and they'd get you all at your boots. Mm. <laughs> Look, the truth is, I don't want my kids meeting mommy's friend until mommy's sure she's going to be friends with her friend for a while. I just don't want my kids Reba, to... What? My parents were divorced, and my mom had way too many friends I played catch with one time. I'm new at this. And you're doing it right. Plus, I like these boots. <laughs> Brian Collins, mm -hmm. would you like to have dinner with my family on Thursday? I'd love to. Oh, no, wait, you're going to be there too, right? <laughs> Woo wee, you can kiss. <laughs> well, finally. You kids have any idea what time it is? Van, shut the door. I meant with you inside. I just don't think it's appropriate for you two to be on the porch making out like a couple of French people. Ann, go inside. We have neighbors. You want to go live with them? Two minutes. Are you sure you want to have dinner with us? I'm positive. Good night, Wilma. Good night, Jughead. <laughs> Whoa! Who I am is who I wanna be. I'm a survivor. There's the lucky girl who gets to go to Barbara Jean's family reunion. Actually, I was thinking I'd like to go away to boarding school tonight. <laughs> be that bad? Just think of it as a whole bunch of people you hadn't met yet. Yeah, a bunch of people just like Barbara Jean. <laughs> now, Kira, your father and I have talked this over, and we both agree that it's important for you to meet them. Just remember, you're a part of Barbara Jean's family now. Na, 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 na. <laughs> and since it's all the way up in Lubbock, we're gonna drive there in a a rented minibus. <laughs> huh? How much fun will that be? Lubbock? No, it's near Lubbock. In a town called Fisheye Bottom. <laughs> it has the biggest slaughterhouse in the county. <laughs> Who's heard of it? Show of hands? What's it like there? It's flat. Real flat. You stand on a coffee can, you can see Colorado. <laughs> Now, Reba, I just want you to know that you are welcome to join us. Oh, gee, I'd love to drive nine hours to meet those you sprung from. But I'm going to be busy this weekend putting my divorce papers in a gold frame. <laughs> well, we're all just going to have a great time. And I can't wait for Brock to meet Big Daddy. <laughs> Big Daddy? That's what they call him. 
Honest to God. <laughs> Wait, isn't this the guy that wouldn't come to your wedding? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's just Big Daddy's old-fashioned. He doesn't like that this is Brock's second marriage. He's very anti-divorce. Hey, I used to be, too. <laughs> You know, and he did send us a couple of nice wedding presents. Yeah, Barbara Jean got a lovely pearl necklace. I got a gift certificate for a tombstone. Okay, we'll pick you up Saturday at 9. Oh, we are going to have a real West Texas down-home good time. Yeah! Barbara Jean, honey, do we really have to do this? Brock, I said yee-haw. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Brian's gonna be here any minute, and I want this to be a very nice family dinner. All right, you got it, Mom. Kira, go get dressed. I am dressed. Um, yeah, maybe to play kickball. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. H will be on best behavior. Now, Jake, let's keep those fingers out of the nose. Then, knock it off. But Jake, yes. <laughs> His name is Brian. He's really nice, he's smart, he's sweet, and he's really funny. You'll like him. But what if I don't? You're my son, and I love you with all my heart. And you love me. And I like Brian, so I bet you're gonna like him too. But what if I don't? I bet you will. But what if I don't? You're gonna. But what if I don't? Jake! <laughs> Why don't you just wait and meet him, and then we'll talk later, okay? Okay. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, so here we go. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Everybody just relax. We're just gonna have a family dinner. No big deal. Just be yourselves. Hey, Casanova, keep your shirt on. <laughs> Van. Hey, he's the one being rude. Okay, he's gonna probably be very nervous. Just make him feel comfortable. Hurry up and open the door. Okay. I want to meet my new daddy. <laughs> hey. Hey. Well, I didn't know what to bring, so I made some homemade ice cream with M and M's, gummy worms, and chocolate mint. I like him. <laughs> What can I do to help you? I think I've got it covered. Why don't you go in there and relax? Well, come on, I'm handy in the kitchen. Hey, I can unwrap a slice of cheese in under two minutes. <laughs> of course, I need my special gloves. <laughs> I'm okay, really. Why don't you go in the living room with the kids? Oh, right to the audition? <laughs> All right, well, how do I look? Is my target on straight? <laughs> It'll be fine. Besides, if this doesn't go well, they're the ones I'm breaking up with. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I'm going in. I don't know about this Brian guy. Why? He seems nice. He has dead eyes. I like him. He brought ice cream. Yeah, but what if he's some ice cream psycho? What if it isn't gummy worms in the ice cream? What if it's real worms? That would be cool. Think of him, Kira. Well, I've only spent a billionth of a second with him, but I already like him more than I like Van. You know what your mom says? He's a filmmaker. You know what that means, don't you? Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Yeah, that doesn't make me paranoid. <laughs> so, Brian. Have a seat. Not daddy's chair. Good one. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah, you look like a drinker. Or are pills your game? No, actually, I'm fine, thank you. So, you and my mom, huh? <laughs> That's neat. Oh, what exactly was it that attracted you to her? Well, to be honest with you, at first, there was that whole she's gorgeous thing. Bum, chicka, bum, bum. 
Plus, she talks about you guys constantly. I mean, that's a sign of somebody with a lot of room in their heart. <laughs> she doesn't really talk about us when you guys are out, does she? She mostly talks about a certain young lady named Elizabeth. Oh. <laughs> I've seen that photograph a million times. That is one beautiful child you've got there, Cheyenne. I'll go wake her up. <laughs> and then there's Kira, who gets stuck with the babysitting detail when we go out. You, I owe big time. I have changed for 50. <laughs> well, I got a different idea. What do you say your mom and I take Jake with us sometimes so you can revisit your life? God bless you, sweet stranger. <laughs> well, you are just a sweet talker, aren't you? <laughs> Ladies love that. Me, I'm a different kind of animal. <laughs> you won't work your gigolo magic on me. I love the fact that you're protective of Reba. I mean, I am too. But when you say something like that, you imply something about her that I just don't, I don't care for at all. Now, I don't think that's what you meant to do, which is why I'm gonna let it go. Once. Hey, dinner's ready. I like him. hilarious the van me takes the stuff out to the van we're driving in right so it's van to the van then van in the van and then both vans are gone is that thing called a minibus <laughs> fine okay, okay. i think i've got everything well, you better double check. I remember once we went to your grandma's and I left all your bottles in the fridge. <laughs> of course, I was young and stupid. Yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. It's a van, whatever. <laughs> How can the kids need this much stuff for one night? Rock, they're going to Fish Eye Bottom. They'll need evening wear. Oh. Hey, a camera, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm gonna meet Barbara Jean's family. If nothing else, the flash will startle them. Kira! Young lady, this weekend you are gonna be polite and respectful. Okay, Daddy. I'll really try. And no sarcasm either. <laughs> no, no, Jake, honey, you brought enough toys. It's not a toy. It's for my puke. <laughs> Quit enjoying this. I'll try. It's just not easy. <laughs> I like your daddy's ready to go. Oh, I'm not sure dad wants to get there. He circled a spot on the map and wrote fake engine trouble. <laughs> what are you doing? Making breakfast. A grapefruit? Don't you normally eat something good like ham and sausage between pancakes? I wanted a grapefruit, so. Didn't you go to the gym yesterday? <laughs> I went out for a cheeseburger. I was in my sweats. It just happened. <laughs> God, you are so cute. But, Mom, you can relax. You have a great body. Oh, well, this is an awkward mother-daughter moment. <laughs> it's because Brian's got a hot body, right? Mom, don't worry. I'm sure he thinks you look great naked. I think your father's ready to go. <laughs> now. What are you so freaked out about? We can talk about stuff like this. Cheyenne, stop. This is none of your business. You are my child, not my girlfriend. <laughs> I appreciate your interest in that you think Brian has a... Hot body. <laughs> this isn't something I'm comfortable talking to you about. Mom, I may be your daughter, but I am also a married woman. I think this is great, as long as you two are being careful. <laughs> you are being careful, right? Cheyenne. Yes, very careful. 100% foolproof careful. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, I just... I nope. I, not even a little bit? <laughs> I don't fully understand that question, but no. <laughs> well, do you think you're going to? I mean, if the opportunity presented itself? Say you had the house to yourself for the entire weekend? 
I'm going to need another grapefruit. Mom, do you want to? I don't know. Okay. Well, you have to be ready just in case that you decide you do want to. You guys are safe. The first thing you need to do is talk to him about his history. His history? Uh-huh. And I'm just supposed to bring that up over dinner? <laughs> How's your Brussels sprouts, Brian? Is your gravy too hot? When's the last time you had a little ring-a-ding? Ring-a-ding? Uh, well, I've heard what you kids call it, and I prefer ring-a-ding. <laughs> think I could ask him about his history, Cheyenne. Well, Mom, you have to. You know, if, if you're going to have, say, ding-a-ling, you, you have to. Ring-a-ding. Whatever. Gee, it, look, Mom, a lot has changed since the last time you went through this. Okay, right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Mom, another thing. You have to remember, every time you go out, you have to have your essentials in your purse. Essentials? Mm -hmm. Underwear, toothbrush, birth control, money. Whoa! So Am I going on a date or a sleepaway camp? <laughs> What's this money thing? Do I have to tip for that, too? Mom, money so that no matter where you are, you can call a cab to go home, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, you're pretty good at giving the talk. <laughs> hey, you and Kira are going to be in a minibus for eight hours. Oh, no way. <laughs> Look, Mom, I know this is a really big step for you. I mean, we all like Brian a lot. And no matter what happens between the two of you guys while we're away, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Just be careful. <laughs> The babies took turns crying the entire way. <laughs> I didn't notice. Of course, I probably couldn't hear them over the sound of me pounding myself in the head. <laughs> How's the stomach, buddy? Oh, uh, better. Next time, bring your own tail. <laughs> hey, where are all the freaks? I rode eight hours in a bus. Ban. Whatever. <laughs> what weirdos and nutcases. Yeah, well, they're not here yet. Hey, maybe I got lucky and Big Daddy's not coming. Or maybe he just stopped along the way to gut a hitchhiker. Don't be nervous about meeting Big Daddy. There's nothing to worry about. So he has a lot of guns and drinks a bit. He drinks? All right. This was great. I enjoyed Fish Eye Bottom. I especially enjoyed the gas station attendant with the tiny head. Now can we go back to Houston? We're not going anywhere. If we leave, it'll look like we're running. And nothing brings out a hunter's instinct like prey on the run. Don't be silly. Big Daddy's as grateful as I am that y'all decided to come. And how could he not love this little face? Let go. Here they come. There's my little girl. Big Daddy! This is Henry. Right there. Those are my daddy's eyes. And this is my husband, Brock. Of course he's your husband. He's everybody's husband.
me. Now I think we've got it. Is it fixed? Afraid not. The brown gunk's supposed to go down instead of up. That's the way it looked when Dad used to fix it. I'm aware of that. What a shame we don't have a man around the house to fix these things. Huh? We don't need a man. I've got everything under control. Jake, hand me that metal doohickey with the screwy thing on the... Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Hey. Oh, hey. You want something to eat? No. I paid four pounds. That's good. That's the baby growing. The mini-me. Hey, he's a minivan. <laughs> minivan, that is so cute. <laughs> All right, Jake, bet you 50 cents it's going to work this time. Hey, ya. Uh... <laughs> Put it on my bill. I'll be right back. After the game, a couple of us are going over to Randy's to watch videos and hang out. You want to come? No, I don't think so. Well, I invited me to go get pizza, but you know how food makes me sick. You should go, Cheyenne. Get out of the house. No point just sitting here watching yourself get fat. Van. You know what I mean? You out with your friends, me out with mine. Then we hook up later. It'll be just like junior year. Except we're married, you're pregnant, and everything's different. Okay, Jake, stand back. This could get messy. Mom, what are you doing? The disposal's all jammed up. I'm doing exactly what your father used to do. Minus the cuss words. Yeah, why don't you just call a plumber? Ha, I don't need a plumber. I've got it all under control. Cool! Go get me the yellow pages. Okay, give me the bad news. I can take it. You have very sick plumbing. How bad are we talking? Yeah, your disposal might not make it through the night. <laughs> Oof. I've seen this a lot. Your husband's been playing plumber, hasn't he? Among other things. That's why we're getting a divorce. Sorry to hear that. Well, it's good news from a sink. <laughs> okay, partner, I'll see you on Sunday. Bye, Dad. Bye. Hi, Mom. Hey, babe. Oh, Reba, you didn't. What? You hired a plumber? There's nothing wrong with that sink. I fixed it myself. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, hi. <laughs> Mr. Hayden, this is my Brock, and that's his BJ. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Right back at you. <laughs> hey, you want me to take a look under there? I know everything about that sink. Well, maybe you can explain this. <laughs> well, now you broke it. <laughs> Where's the tennis ball? Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, well, make sure you use a uh, four-gauge PVC with nylon bushings. Actually, Mr. Hart. Actually, it's Dr. Hart. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, still. Your bushings have to be compatible with your threads. See, so you, you got three-quarter male threads. You questioning the size of my threads? <laughs> oh, honey, all that man talk. <laughs> oh, I just love it when he talks that way. You mean like an idiot? <laughs> Since when do you hire a plumber? since you're not around to work your magic anymore. You may not appreciate the nuance of my sink work, Reba, but it's very good. He's right. 
He just installed a padded toilet seat, and you can't get me off that thing. <laughs> Glad you could tear yourself away. I don't think this guy knows what he's doing. Why isn't he wearing a jumpsuit? Excuse me. I fixed your disposal, but you might want to think about changing that faucet real soon. I get a discount over a premium fixture, so let me know if you're interested. Thanks. Do you realize what just happened here? That guy's hitting on you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> It's not that funny. Man, what nerve. You're not even divorced yet. He's already moving in on you. Oh, that is so wrong. <laughs> he is not hitting on me, Brock. And even if he was, it's got nothing to do with you. You don't live here anymore. Yeah, well, my kids do. And they shouldn't have to be exposed to that sort of thing. Jake just spent the morning with you and your pregnant mistress. I don't think new plumbing's gonna push him over the edge. <laughs> you guys, I totally miss hanging out with you. We all. missed you too. We did. We missed you. <laughs> Even though you're pregnant, you're still totally fun. <laughs> Thanks. I can't believe we're really doing I'm this. I'm so I... nervous. Oh my God, there's the bus. Oh my God, I have goosebumps. <laughs> Oh, my God! Okay, you guys, get into position. Okay, y'all. Y'all ready? <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow. Woo! Whoa, they're mooning us! <laughs> no way, buddy. Yes, yeah, look at what's got running on it. It says, go van! What? Go van! 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 Sucker. I've tried to be nice, but you're out of here. Is that plumber guy here? Take a look at this. Three quarter inch threads. Ha! Why is your blouse all wet? I'm entering the wet blouse contest. What do you think? It's that stupid thing. Oh, Reba. This guy's got you brainwashed into thinking there's something wrong with a perfectly good faucet. Help! <laughs> He's rigged it to do that. This guy is slick. Okay, I've had it. I want to call Bill and get him to replace that thing. Bill? You call him Bill? You on a first-name basis with your handyman? <laughs> oh, call me a flirt. The mailman's name is George, and the paper boy lets me call him Timmy. <laughs> Hey, Bill, this Reba Hart. Does your offer to help me pick out a new faucet still stand? Good, because I'm ready to shop. Yeah, great. Five o'clock's fine. Thanks. Reba, that's a date. How can it be a date? He's a handyman. You are so naive. These guys make a living taking advantage of lonely housewives. I just don't want you getting hurt. Yes, you've proven that time and time again. <laughs> Where have you been? Start with the girls having fun. Go van. Okay. I never want to hear that again. Why? You made it dirty. Oh, come on. It was a joke. You were the one who said I should go out and have fun. Yeah, by fun I meant eat pizza and cheer for me. Go van. Okay, stop that. So I mooned with some girlfriends. It's not like you guys have never mooned anyone. But we're guys. We do it to gross people out. When girls do it, it's, it's different. Oh, please, that is so sexist. I'm not being sexist. All I'm saying is you're my wife now, and your butt belongs to me. Excuse me? Well, it's more mine than anyone else's, except yours. Look, married or not married, my butt is mine to do with as I please. And I don't appreciate your Neanderthal attitude. And I don't appreciate you using words I don't know. <laughs> had fun tonight. I'm 
I'm glad I moved the bus. It was very freeing. I might even do it again. You wouldn't. Oh, I might. <laughs> Guess what I just saw on the internet. What are you doing? Check it out. There's a full moon tonight. <laughs> oh my God, it's my butt. What? One of your stupid friends had a camera? Hey, look, you can vote on your favorite. Pick your butt 2001. <laughs> America pageant, but cut to the chase. Oh my god, this is horrible. Horrible? What happened to it? It was so fun. It was so freeing. I might even do it again. I do not sound like that. Actually, you do. Dan, please, you have to help me. Dan, please, you have to help me. Dan, sleep on the couch. Dan, sleep on the Okay, I'll take care of it. He's picking me up. He's taking me to get a new faucet. He's picking you up? You mean like a date? No, he's picking me up like a handyman. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Well, it sounds like a date. It's not a date. Don't you think if I was going out on a date, I would talk to you kids about it first? You better. I didn't have any input on my future stepmom, and now look what I'm stuck with. Why is everybody making such a big deal about this? He's just a nice guy who offered to help me get a faucet. Hey, Reba. <laughs> Bill, don't you look and, and smell nice. <laughs> I'll be right back. That must be one fancy faucet shop. <laughs> Here's a nice one. Let's go. Reba, we just got here. I know, but I believe in going with my gut. But this is a bathroom faucet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is, there, is there some reason you don't want to do this? I guess I am a little nervous. It's been a while since I picked out a faucet. You should never be intimidated by a faucet. My bill may scare you. <laughs> Come on, Reba. Come on, give it a chance. Look around. Oh, you're right. What's wrong with me just looking around? Are you sure I can't use one of these? It's a 44 jet sink sprayer. Most powerful sprayer in the world. So you gotta ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Dirty Harry. Ooh. That was good. Hey, guess who this is? Hi, I'm Ted Koppel. Natural. <laughs> oh, hey, Reba, Reba, look at this here. Oh. Here's something you don't see every day. I love clawfoot tubs. My grandma had one of these. Hop in. Take it for a spin. Really? Isn't that kind of silly? Go for it. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is nice. All I need is a couple candles and a good book. If you want, I can come back later. Sure. Hey, can you get these strangers out of my bathroom? <laughs> Voting on these butts is tight. No way. Patty's winning and Laura's a close second, which leaves you a little behind. No, 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 this is impossible. Something must be wrong with the internet. Yeah, that's it. This is insane. My butt is not a loser. Van, I thought that you were going to take care of this. I did. Well, then why is Go Van still staring at me in the face? See? You're losing. I told everyone if they voted for your butt, I'd kick theirs. Why would you do that? To vote for your butt, they have to look at your butt. Just because they didn't vote for my butt does not mean they didn't look at it. Well, you shouldn't have mooned me in the first place. Well, I was 
was just trying to have some fun. That might be my last chance to moon until after I've had the baby. My butt is not going to look that great for much longer. By your fifth month, it won't even fit on the computer. <laughs> I'm getting fat. You're having a baby. Yes, yeah, so are you, but you're not getting fat. It's not fair. Why do I have to carry the minivan? You're doing a great job. Nobody voted for me. I did. Actually, you got two votes. <laughs> well, of course I voted for myself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that was the cleanest truck I've ever seen. Yeah, I know. The other handymen make fun of me. <laughs> you didn't have to walk me to the door. Oh, I was actually walking your faucet to the door. It's a little heavy. Well, I had fun. Who knew a faucet store could be so much fun? <laughs> uh... Didn't work out all that well, now did it? Oh, Bill, I was just, uh... No, no, hey, listen, uh, no, don't worry about it. <clears throat> I shouldn't have done that, I just, uh... Can we sit down for a second? Sure. I think I might have misled you. I might have misled myself. Yeah? I didn't think this was going to be a date, but it kind of was, wasn't it? I don't usually take a lady to a plumbing store on a first date. You know, it's kind of a kind of a semi-date, you know, kind of a, a pre-date that I was hoping would lead to a bona fide date. I had a great time, and I like you a lot, Bill. But my divorce isn't even final yet. And as much fun as I had on our semi-pre-date, <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to take that next step yet. Well, I understand. Thanks. <laughs> Bill, I hope that when I am ready, you might still be around. I might be. Are you playing hard to get? <laughs> a good handyman's always hard to get. <laughs> well, good night, Reba. Not Bill. Brock, what you doing? I'm fixing your ice maker. Oh, that's funny, because Bill already took care of it. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah, that cold stuff in there is called ice. What else has Bill been taking care of? Excuse me? Oh, come on, Reba. He's been romancing you ever since he set foot in this house. Can you blame him? <laughs> no. So I was right then, it was a date? Well, let's see. I had coffee and spent some time in a bathtub. <laughs> yep, I'm pretty sure you can call that a date. Coffee? You know what else? I had a really good time. Well, I'm not sure I like that. Oh, come on, Brock. You made your choice. You're with BJ now. I know, Reba. I just... I'm looking out for you, that's all. No, you're not. You're uncomfortable seeing me with someone else. I know how that feels. Yeah. So you want me to install that for you? Rock. Go on home. Reba? I think I might have really screwed up your ice maker. I think it's cute. Of course, I'm partial. I diapered that butt. You don't think it ruined my reputation? Honey, I think that might have happened when the stick turned blue. What was I thinking? What if the baby logs on one day and sees that? Honey, by the time the baby's able to log on, there'll be a whole new crop of butts on there. I just, I feel so stupid. I'll let you in on a little secret. When I was a senior in high school, I had this wild friend named Maxine. 
You never mentioned her before. Exactly. Anyway, it was right before the prom, and we both went out and bought these cute little strapless dresses. Well, Maxine did not tan lines, so we played hooky and went down to the lake. And guess who showed up just about the time we were lying out buck naked? Oh, wow. <laughs> the whole swim team. Oh. <laughs> Lucky for you, they didn't have the internet back then. Yep, but they did have Polaroids. <laughs> Van socks into balls. What am I supposed to do with them? Make puppets? <laughs> no, he likes them folded. Otherwise, they droop. Things droop, Cheyenne. <laughs> You'll learn that in life. <laughs> oh, you know what, Mom? That's another thing. Van likes whole milk. I like 1%. Well, it's not all about you. I have a husband to take care of now. I'm going to put it on the list. Again. <laughs> Here's an idea. How about you take the list and go get your husband his fancy milk? Mom, I'm a married woman. I don't have time to go to the grocery store. <laughs> you think you're busy now? Wait until you change a poopy diaper in aisle three. Fine. Uh, who thought these were mine? Oh, no. I hope Van's not wearing your training bra. this afternoon. Yeah, uh, we can reschedule, okay? Yeah, it sucks. Bye. Kara, you don't have band practice today. I know that, but he doesn't. <laughs> Look, I know it's been a little strange between you and your dad since he moved out. Don't you mean shacked up with his hygienist? <laughs> hey, well, just because he's with Barbara Jean doesn't mean he stopped loving you. And I know you still love him. Mom, why are you forcing us together now? We didn't hang out back when you liked him. I still like your father, just not as a husband. So how about I call him back and you two go out later? Fine. I'll spend the day with him, but that's it until I'm 25. I'm going to the store now. Oh, good. What are you doing? Oh, I just need the milk part. <laughs> Could use some help around here. I'd like for you to get everything on that list. Mom, I really don't like your tone. Excuse me? I'm an adult now, and I would like to be treated like one. You're right. You're a married woman now, soon to become a mother. Exactly. So from now on, you can be responsible for doing little things like uh, grocery shopping and doing your own laundry. All right, that's just mean. <laughs> I can see why you like it so much. Where's the groceries? We decided to get an apartment instead. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna get any change back? No, Mom, I'm serious. It's the adult thing to do. You're gonna move out because I won't do your laundry? Well, we're married now. You know, we have a baby on the way. We need our space. We found an awesome apartment. It's got a pool, a gym, and amenities. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but they wouldn't brag about it if it wasn't good. You know, it's been a while since I got an apartment, but don't you have to have a little thing called money? Oh, we know. Come on, Ben. Let's fill out our application. It's our first step to independence. Mom, do you have a pen? Thanks. Okay. Name. 
Mr. and Mrs. Van Montgomery. <laughs> Marital status. Married. <laughs> oh, there's a cute one. Employment history. Ben, what should I put as your current position? Cornerback. No, I think they mean a real job. You know what? I'll just put manager. That can mean anything. <laughs> uh, monthly income. Okay, well, with my allowance and your... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Do you really think your allowance continues once you move out? Okay, fine. <laughs> well, we have savings, and all we need is a small little loan to help us get going until our job's kicking. I'm gonna learn to mow. <laughs> learn? <laughs> Hey. hey, Brock. Hi, Daddy. Well, hi, honey. Hi. How's my favorite little girl? How's my favorite quarterback? Hey, Coach. Kira. She went to Wendy's house. What? Oh, well, maybe next week. Wait a minute. You can't let Kira get away with this. What's going on between you two? Oh, I don't know, Reva. Look, I, since I never know what to say to Kira. If you want to know the truth, she kind of scares me. She's a 12-year-old girl. With a 35-year-old mouth. <laughs> She's always making fun of me. I will never wear Bermuda shorts around her again, that's for sure. Come back tomorrow at 11. <sighs> okay, I guess I could take her to a movie. No, 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 not a movie. I want you two face to face. Plan something special. You have a date with your daughter. All right. Daddy! Don't leave without saying bye to me. <laughs> Daddy, we need your advice. Well, sure, sweetheart. What is it? Well, we need some money. <laughs> yeah, all right. Here you go. Thanks, but that's not what I meant. You see, Van and I found this incredibly adorable apartment. An apartment? You kids don't have that kind of money. Oh, Van's gonna learn how to mow. <laughs> Kids want to move into an apartment. Come on, you got it pretty good around here. Your mom's a great cook. You can come and go as you please. I loved living here. You had a strange way of showing it. We're trying to be adults. Please, Daddy. Please, Coach. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. All I can go is another 20. That's not going to help. Come on, Van. What? I put my foot down. Yeah, and it only cost you 60 bucks. <laughs> okay, it's a start. What about your parents? Uh, I don't think so. Van, I just asked my parents. Yeah, but your parents didn't chuck your stuff out on the lawn and tell you you were throwing your life away for a sleazy cheerleader. I'm not a cheerleader. I'm on drill team. Okay, look, Van, time has passed. I'm sure they feel guilty by now, and you know what guilt means. No. Cash. Oh. Then we're gonna be rich. My parents are monsters. <laughs> Check out our new truck. Oh, my God! Honey, it's the best thing I've ever seen! Wait. I love you! <laughs> Just what they need. Another thing with the bed. Now I have a truck and a van. <laughs> Where'd it come from? My parents oh. got it for me. You were right. Guilt works every time. Oh, my God! There's they smell incredible, Mom. You have to come smell these seats. Wait a minute. Are these the same parents who boycotted your wedding and disowned you? Yeah. I even got a bigger surprise. They invited us to move in. No way. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, this is huge. And they have a 
A maid? Who folds socks? <laughs> what are you talking about? Now you're moving? This is a big decision. You two need to do some serious soul searching and ask yourself if one extravagant gift erases all the hurtful things they did to you. Is that orange suitcase still in the hall closet? <laughs> That is one great truck. Is that all anybody cares about is that stupid truck? Well, now, Reva, I know this is hard, but they're only going to be a couple of blocks away. And at least they won't be struggling to pay the rent on some dumpy apartment. Why isn't this bothering you as much as it's bothering me? Because nothing bothers me as much as it bothers you. <laughs> Look, the way those kids love each other, they'll be fine. OK, we're going to take our first load over. Oh, Mom, don't look so sad. We're not moving out of your life, you know? We're just gonna be... I know, it's just a couple of blocks away. Yeah. Okay, okay Mom. <laughs> Mom, I'm running out of air. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Bye, honey. Well, we knew this day would come. Our little girl is leaving the nest. Before you know it, it'll be Kira, then little Jake. Soon it'll just be you and me, all alone in this big... Brock. <laughs> you don't live here anymore. You really know how to kill a moment, don't you? Hi, Dad. Hello, son. Cheyenne. Oh, it's nice to see you, sir. Hi. Uh, Sue, honey, you want to get off that thing? Just five more minutes. I had a huge dinner last night. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you worked off all that celery by now. <laughs> oh, you know, I've always loved this house, Mr. and Mrs. Montgomery. Uh, or should I call you Mom and Dad? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. and thanks for letting us live here, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I need a moment here with my boy, Cheyenne. Why don't you go on in the kitchen and fix yourself a snack? Oh, great. Okay, I'm starving. Eating for two now. <laughs> <laughs> There's rice cakes on the counter. <laughs> Son, uh, I'm a little confused here. I thought we had an understanding. Dad, I don't understand. I'm a little confused. <laughs> but we're trying to help you here. You're 17 years old. You got a bright future, but you got to leave your problems behind you. What? We asked you to move back in, Van, not her. Yes, you did. When you handed me the keys to the truck, you said we'd like for you to move back in with us. I'm married now, so you means us. Oh, Van, you're English. You does not mean both of you. If we meant that, we'd have said y'all. <laughs> Stupid, right? No, honey, you look adorable. That does it. I'm changing. Too late. Your date's here. Aww. Is Kara here? Come in, come in. Hi. Hi. You both look so nice. And is that a rose? Oh, uh, it's for you. Well, you both have a wonderful time, and don't bring her home too early. This is so disturbing. Oh, and there's so much closet space. Oh, Mom, the Montgomery's house is so great. You're going to have to come visit us. I'll be up in a second. OK. Mrs. H, hmm. you know that thing that you and Cheyenne do where you, like, tell each other stuff and stuff like that? You mean talking? <laughs> yeah, that. Can we talk? Sure, what's going on? Well, my parents. Hmm? They don't want Cheyenne to move in. Only me. I misunderstood them. Plus, I think they kind of tricked me. I knew it. I knew they were up to something. 
Wait a minute. Why is Cheyenne upstairs packing? I haven't told her yet. Van? Well, it's gonna be hard. She's gonna be sad. She's gonna be even sadder when they arrest her for trespassing. <laughs> I can't believe my parents think I'm such a loser that a truck is gonna make me forget Cheyenne. God, they make me so mad. I could just... Let it go, I could just. This is great. You just, just what? I don't know. That's as far as I've ever gotten. <laughs> Well, what do you usually do when you get mad at your parents? Go to my room without supper. <laughs> That'll teach them. You know what really gets me? What? Is that they're going to miss out on getting to know their grandkid. And they don't even care. Sounds to me like that's something you need to say to your parents. No. My father isn't much of a listener. He's more of a teller. <laughs> well, maybe it's time for you to do the telling. Get it off your chest. You're right. Cheyenne's my wife, and they have no right to treat her this way. She's got her heart set on moving in, and that's what we're gonna do. That takes guts, Van. I'm proud of you. You really are becoming an adult. Thanks, Mrs. H. Will you come with me? My dad scares me. <laughs> Beyond lame. What? We're having fun. This is a tea house for six year old girls. Oh, come on, I'm trying. You kids outgrow stuff so fast. Dad, have you ever met me? Do I look like someone who sips tea? No. Oh, I'm sorry. BJ said this place would be lots of fun. BJ collects beanie babies. <laughs> I brought you some of our scrumptious orange marmalade. It's from London, England. Get over yourself. It's from Safeway. <laughs> Put it down. All right, all right. I know this is lame, but I was just trying to find something we could enjoy together. Yeah. We could go to a movie. No, Kira, we can't do that. Then we wouldn't be able to talk. We'd just be sitting in a dark theater, staring at a screen. Yeah, that would bite. You want to go? I'd sell my hair. <laughs> Let's do it. Do we have to sit next to each other? <laughs> Heck, we don't even have to see the same movie. You're awesome. <laughs> Mrs. Hart, what a surprise. Mr. Montgomery, good to see you. Mrs. Montgomery, nice spandex. Sue, get off that thing, you look like a gerbil. Dad, I have something important to say to you. And it's real important. I'm listening. Thanks for the truck, sir. Van. Uh, something you wanted to add? No. This is between you and Van. Van? Even though I think you should be ashamed of how you've treated your son. Excuse me? This is between you and Van. I'm not even here. <laughs> but if I were here, I'd tell you how wrong you are for making your son choose between his parents and his wife. Is that what you came here to tell me, son? Well, I... See? You've got him so scared, he's afraid to be honest with you. Van is not afraid of us. Well, of course he's not afraid of you. He could snap you like a twig. <laughs> a twig? <laughs> Look, I don't need somebody like you coming over here and telling me how to raise my son. What exactly do you mean, like me? Someone who sits back and lets your daughter get pregnant. Well, it's not like I was there cheering them on. But you know what? It happened. You should be proud to have a son with the guts to stick around. I'm proud of him. That's why I'm here, to give him moral support. That would imply that you know something about morals. Hey, you can't talk that way to her, sir. <laughs> Mrs. H is stuck by us, something you wouldn't know about. You watch yourself. I fed and clothed you for 17 years. Oh, so that makes you a good father? My whole life, all you've done is bully me. But with Mrs. H, sometimes I say things to her, and she says things back to me. 
It's called talking. And you know what? We do it. So the way I see it, Mrs. H is a way better dad than you. That's right, way better. And you know what else? You can keep your really stupid, cool truck. I'd rather walk. Come on, Dad. Right behind you, son. So they never wanted me to move in? I'm so sorry. But we were going to be mansion people. <laughs> oh, come on. We've got indoor plumbing. <laughs> Shine, we don't want to live there. And who would you rather see across the breakfast table, my mom or your mom? My mom. <laughs> of course. Van's mom never sits at the breakfast table. She might accidentally eat something. <laughs> I love my mom. <laughs> I love my dad. <laughs> You made straight A's on your report card. Honey, that's great. Why didn't you tell me? I guess because nothing I do seems like big news with Shine and Van around. I'm lucky if I can get a sentence up. Oh, with... my God. Shoot, news. Shoot, news. Exhibit A. Guess who got named All-City Football Player of the Year? Kira Hart for her straight A report card? No. Oh, I did. Me, Van. Congratulations! Uh, thanks, Mrs. H. Hey, there's gonna be a big awards banquet Saturday night. Can you come? Boy, I don't know. Hmm. Well, looky there. I'm free every Saturday night till the end of time. That's great. You know, this award just confirms what I've always known. You are so on your way to the NFL. Uh, Got muscles and talent. And a beautiful trophy wife. Aww. That is what I was going to say. You know, I always dreamed about winning Player of the Year and standing there and thanking my parents. Now they're going to miss it. It serves them right after the way they've treated you. Yeah. Let them read about it in the paper. Paper? We're going to be in the paper? <laughs> I gotta go pick out an outfit. <laughs> hey, guys, there's more good news. Let it go, Mom. I'm not going to let it go, Kira. You made straight A's. Hey, how about we have a big family dinner to celebrate? I'd rather have cash. Between Bradley or Lamaze? Well, Bradley if it's a boy, but I don't know about Lamaze. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about childbirth classes. Look at this one. You can actually have a baby underwater. You know, whales do that. <laughs> Is that a slam? <laughs> hey, Reba. Hey, player of the year, huh? Hey, listen, I wrote down a few things you might want to say about your favorite coach. Great. Now, who's my favorite coach? <laughs> Send Jake and Kira down, will you? Oh, Kira's going to a slumber party. It's just you and Jake tonight. No, Kira? Oh, hey, maybe I'll finally win at poker. <laughs> you know, it's a shame the Montgomery's won't be there for Van's banquet. Such a big day. His parents should be there. I know he misses them. Yeah, I guess sometimes it's hard to stop loving people, even when they treat you like crap. <laughs> It gets easier with practice. Hey, Dad! Hey, cowboy. Listen, BJ's visiting her mom, so it's just us men tonight. Cool! Maybe you men can eat something that doesn't come with fries and a toy this time. Hey, that's not all I feed him. On Mondays, I have buffalo wings and a Shirley Temple. That's only during football season.
Excuse me. Is Sue Montgomery in your class? Are you kidding? She's in every class. Okay. I'll just warm up then. Hello to you too. Reba Hart. <laughs> I didn't know you worked out. Me? Oh, I've been working out here for years. Really? Six months ago, this was a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Ever try lifting those burritos? <laughs> so, did you hear that Van was named Player of the Year? My Van is Player of the Year? Yes, he is. <gasps> and the awards banquet is Saturday night. I know it'd make him really happy if his parents were there. Oh, I, I, I wish I could go. But I'm afraid I can't. Well, sure you can. You just get in the car and go. <laughs> People in worse shape than you do it every day. Reba, we are trying to send Van a message that we do not approve of his marriage. Oh, he got the message when you threw him out. <laughs> but he's still your son. Though I don't totally understand it, he misses you. I miss him, too. But I'm afraid his father has made up his mind. So what's the deal? You two sharing one brain? <laughs> Your son is player of the year. You should be there. <laughs> what? If I could be any animal, I believe... I'd be an octopus. Yeah, why? Well, because then I'd have eight arms to tickle you with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you think so. Your mom never seemed to care for that one. <laughs> What's the matter? Aren't you hungry? You made it wrong. I believe I know how to make a grilled cheese sandwich. No, you don't. <laughs> Come on, Jake, just try it. Open the hangar, here comes the plane. Dad, I'm seven. Okay, well, if you won't eat it, I will. I'm serious. Here I go. I'm almost eating. Chewing's about to begin. Mmm. I believe I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Want milk? Hey, which makes me sound more honored? I'm honored today, or today I'm honored. Is that the photographer from the Chronicle? Ben, how do I look? Oh, I'm not getting into that rat's nest again. So how did everything go with you and Jake last night? Great. We really connect. It's not all about grilled cheese sandwiches, you know. <laughs> Although I must say, I, I do make a pretty good one. Say, say, listen, what do you think his favorite grilled cheese ingredient is? Well, I don't know, Brock. There's the bread and there's the cheese. <laughs> Pretty much dead heat. As long as you cut the crust off, he's happy. Of course. You gotta cut the crust off. <laughs> the coach from SMU is glomming all over Van. I think they're gonna offer him a scholarship. Oh, I am so proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you, too, Vanny. Mom? You're here. I can't believe it. Well, I wouldn't miss this for anything. I'm so glad you came. Oh, honey. What is she doing here? Oh, I might have mentioned it the other day when I ran into her. Where would you run into Van's mom? <laughs> At my Pilates class. 
Mom, she is not a nice person. Oh, honey, I know, but she's his mother. There's a strong maternal bond that even years of selfishness and exercise can't undo. <laughs> Does Dan know you're here? He got pretty upset when I told him I was coming, but I just, I laid down the law. I said, Dan, I'm going to the gym. You go, girl. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Yeah, thanks, Mrs. H. Yeah, thanks, Mrs. H. I can't say enough how honored I am by this honor. When I think of all the other players you could have honored, I am truly, deeply honored. I also want to say thanks to Coach and Mrs. Hart. But most of all, I want to thank a very special woman in my life. Someone who has always been there for me. My mom. Is that what I wrote? Look who's on Van's arm. Is it his trophy wife? No, it's his mother. <laughs> so you're not in one picture. Honey, you're about to have a baby, and there's going to be a lot of other pictures that you're not in. <laughs> you know, it's not just about the picture. Last night was supposed to be my big night. I thought it was supposed to be Van's big night. The point is, she ruined it. I still can't believe that you invited her. Cheyenne, at least she's making an effort now. I think it's good for Van. I wish they'd spend more time together. Hello. Mom, next time wish for a pony. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? Well, it was so nice seeing Vanny last night that I, I thought I'd like to see him off to school. Well, you're just in time. Have you had breakfast? Not in five years. <laughs> Look at you, Reba. What a marvel. You are busily cooking for your children. Well, I tried skipping it, but they chew on the furniture. <laughs> Delightful small town humor. It's charming. I'm serious, though. You put your children's lives ahead of your own. And that is impressive. Thank you. There's no man in your life. You don't try to look good. It is all about the kids. Here, Sue, won't you put something in your mouth? <laughs> Did you see the picture in the paper? Oh, yeah. You know, it's true what they say about the camera adding 10 pounds. <laughs> Shoot me! <laughs> Honey, are you wearing plaid to school? Because, you know, you look so much cuter in solids. I'll go change. Van, that's your favorite shirt. Mom says I look cuter in solids. <laughs> My sweet little Kira. Hair so long. So very, very long. Mom, make it stop. <laughs> Then it's getting late. Time to go to school. Don't want you to miss the bus. <laughs> bye bye, honey. Bye, mom. Have a good day at school. Oh, bye. Mom. bye. <laughs> so quaint. <laughs> bye, darling. Bye, mom. Bye, son. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I could have done that. <laughs> okay. What's next? Well, the door's still open. <laughs> I thought I'd just hang out here with you and, until Van gets home. In eight hours. <laughs> sure. What do we do while our children are at school? Well, today I have to pay the bills, vacuum the stairs, and make 18 name tags for Jake's Cub Scout den. Oh, that sounds great. I would love to watch you do all that. <laughs> just let me know if you get tired. Hope you're hungry. Nope. What? No, Jake, look. I cut the crust off and everything. I'll just have milk. Okay, look, son. I think I know what this is all about. We haven't talked about the divorce, and... Look, I, I just want you to know that... 
Even though your mother and I aren't together anymore, I will always be your father. And I will always love you. So please, don't be mad at me. I'm not. Your bread has stuff in it. <laughs> That's what's wrong, the seven grain bread? It's like eating sand. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Oh. I'm hungry. I tell you what, let's forget about grilled cheese. Hey, you like peanut butter and banana, right? Yeah. Well, son, this is your lucky day. Because I just happened to make an incredible snack involving peanut butter, banana, and crackers. We'll call it the Dad and Jake special. Is that peanut butter chunky? <laughs> yeah? That's my favorite! I knew that. Reba, that dinner looked delicious. You should have eaten some. It was great. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. H. Oh, thank Kira. She's the one that got straight A's. I'll never make that mistake again. <laughs> Reba, can I do anything? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> what? I'll take these over. Look. Reba and I made pie. Uh, Phil. Have you read the brochures on the birthing classes? Oh, no, I forgot. I'm sorry. Van, we need to choose a birthing class before I give birth. All right, I'll make a decision. Mom, what kind of birthing class should we take? I didn't ask your mother. I asked you. And I'll answer you as soon as my mom tells me. You know what? Maybe you and your mom should have this baby. Mom, you better choose a class quick. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm glad this dinner's all about me. Cheyenne? Okay, Lamaze. Or the underwater thing. Man, what is her problem? I'll give you a little hint. It's your mom. Man, I like your mom. You but... like my mom? Well, I'm glad she's back in your life, but maybe she's a little too much back in your life. Is this about her tucking me in? Ben, when your mom's around, you're not making any of your own decisions anymore. Yeah, but that's what's great about it. I don't have to. It's like living at home. But you're married. You're going to be a father soon. All your responsibilities have changed. They're different now. You can't be your mama's little boy anymore. It's time to cut the apron strings. She's kind of bugging you, isn't she? This isn't about me. Mom, she's measuring Jake for a sailor suit. <laughs> Okay, now she's bugging me. <laughs> Sue? She's gone. Coast is clear. <laughs> she really gone? Yeah. What'd you do, drive a stake through her heart? <laughs> I did what you told me, Mrs. H. <laughs> I told her it was time to leave, and she left. Good job, honey. She said goodbye forever. Wait a minute. What do you mean, forever? Well, she said goodbye forever, but she'll fold. After five or six years. Why is everything so extreme with your family? Where are you going? Back to my Pilates class. No street shoes on the mats. <laughs> so we have to talk. I'm not sure what there is to talk about. Van said he wanted me out of the house. Out of the house doesn't mean out of his life. Oh, yes, it does. I should have realized he never wanted me there. He wasn't the one who asked me back. Van wanted you back? Maybe not as a roommate. <laughs> Look, it wasn't Van who wanted you out, it was me. What? You bug me. You're like a really skinny shadow. How skinny? Soon. Focus. All right. Okay. Maybe 
I did overdo it with the happy homemaker thing, but I only did it because I wanted to be a better mom. Like you, you know, I, I see how you connect with your kids, you know, with the hugs and the muffins and that. I, I just wanted a little of that for Vanny and me. So I think it's great that you want to be a good mom, but can't you do it at your house? Oh, I can't cook and clean at my house. I have people for that. <laughs> so I'm not a good mom because I'm my kid's maid. Although I can see where you might get that impression. <laughs> but if you want to connect with Van, just talk to him. Have coffee or bring him down here and bounce on that big ball or something. <laughs> the important moments in his life. I want to be there. I just don't know how to be there for him without being there all the time. Well, that's something all mamas have to learn when their kids grow up and leave the house. I only hope that one day I get the opportunity to learn how myself. <laughs> I do want to be a part of my son's life. After all, my baby's having a baby. Mine too. Oh, dear God. We're both going to be grannies. You were doing so well. <laughs>